Several years ago, when I served as executive director of Feed Spokane, a food rescue ministry, I commissioned a survey in partnership with a regional food bank to discover barriers to accessing food. A full third of the more than 500 people surveyed cited transportation as a significant barrier. And that's why these are gold in the homeless services community. This is a $4 SDA all day bus pass. But to someone experiencing homelessness, it's more than that. It's transportation, it's freedom. It's the ability to get out and access services. It's a tool for getting your life back. And that's what makes it like gold. So transportation is a huge um, issue amongst our families, uh, especially when you think about families trying to get jobs. They're looking at being employed at non-traditional um, employment settings where the hours are not nine to five, they're not you know nine to seven. And so you have uh, families engaging in uh, the, the Spokane Transit Authority bus routes and trying to have those match, those employment options that they're looking at. They need to get to so many different appointments. I know a girl recently, I took her on uh, to get her documentation that she needs in order to get into a housing program. She, first she needed her, I, her birth certificate for her children. So I had my car, I had her in the car and her two babies in the back seat. I drove her to the Spokane Health Department. She goes in, as I sit in the car, watching her infants, she goes in, purchases, purchases their birth certificates, now we're going to the Social Security office because that's the next document that she needs in order to get into this housing program. Uh, so we go to the Social Security office. I sit in the parking lot with her two babies because you don't want to take <laughs> children into a Social Security office. Uh, she's in there for an hour and a half, comes back out and says, oh gosh, I need more documentation now. Now I need to go to their doctor and get their health records. I say, okay, jump back in. We're gonna get this done today. So I drive her from the social security office down to the Chaz clinic that's on Perry, in the Perry district. She goes in, as I sit in the car with her infants again, she's in there for about 30 minutes. She comes out with the health records and she says, well, the lady said that this would be enough, but for some reason, the doctor didn't sign the paper for the, the health records. So I need to go and get my doctor to sign it. I say, oh my gosh, so where is that? She says, it's all the way up north at the other Chaz Clinic on Market. So I take her all the way up to the Chaz Clinic that's in Market area. Can you please sign this piece of paper for me? I need to get my, my children's social security card. <laughs> and the doctor says, mm, okay, I'll sign it for you. So she signs it, she jumps back in the car, we go from market all the way back down to Social Security. Um, and again, I sit in the parking lot, her babies are with me, she's in Social Security for another hour and a half, and finally she comes back out. She's ordered the Social Security cards and we're done. But we started at 9 a.m. and we didn't get done until 3 p.m. And can you just, just imagine if it was just her doing that by herself with a three month old and a 12 month old and no transportation. There are roughly 253 million cars and trucks on the road in America today, scattered among 115 million households. That's roughly two cars or trucks per household. How many do you and your family have? Now, Imagine not having any, not one. How would you get around? How would you go to the grocery store, to church, to school? And how would you get your kids to school? What about that important doctor appointment? To get to work or to look for work? In a society built around the personal automobile, life changes profoundly when you don't have a vehicle to drive yourself where you need to go. Welcome to just one of the practical obstacles faced by families experiencing homelessness in our community today. And now you know why those all-day bus passes are like gold in the homeless community. In late 2019, Spokane Transit Authority debated the need for low-income or reduced fare bus passes without coming to a decision. Perhaps that the policymakers debating the need didn't have their own cars and were forced to walk everywhere they need to go, there'd be less debating and more practical action.